in Afghanistan's southern province of Kandahar. Former Tolo News anchor Nemat Rawan, who recently joined the country's Ministry of Finance as a media official, was gunned down early Thursday. 28-year-old Rawan is the fifth journalist to be killed in the country this year. Local journalists are demanding an immediate investigation. We are extremely concerned because this is not the first time that a journalist has been killed in Kandahar and the region. Previously, we had more journalists killed in Helmand. The situation has got intense because the previous day, the Taliban had issued new threats to journalists, and then there were reports that the head of NDS also made threatening remarks. The journalists are very concerned, and their lives are in danger. Journalists should not be killed, as they are the people who report on the public's problems. Although the Taliban have not claimed responsibility for Rawan's killing, the death comes a day after the Taliban accused media in Afghanistan of taking sides and issued a warning. Afghan government officials say the Taliban should focus on the peace process instead of issuing threats. Presidential spokesperson Fatima Murchal. We don't support the situation of militarism and war in Afghanistan. Our priority is peace. Taliban have intensified their attacks but have lost the war in each battleground. So the time has come for Taliban to understand the realities of the situation on the battleground instead of wrong calculation of winning the fight, useless attacks and threatening journalists. At the same time, an Afghan lawmaker tweeted that the chief of the country's intelligence agency made comments in a closed meeting warning journalists against news coverage that appeared favorable to the Taliban. Media advocacy group Nice Chief says it is not in either side's benefit to threaten a free press. Neither side has the right to threaten media and journalists. Any threat against media and journalists at the time when we are moving towards peace can hurt media and the peace process. Under increasing pressure from the Taliban and the government, some Afghan journalists are appealing to the international community for help. The Taliban didn't specify which media or which reporter is violating, but we are in a very sensitive time of peace talks. We want the international community, especially the U.S., to bring the discussion of freedom of press and supporting media into the peace talks so we don't face threats like this in the future. We are worried. The situation is worrisome as journalists endure pressure from both sides and have sacrificed so much. We are being killed. We want the U.S. and the international community to take a constructive step to improve the current situation and play a positive role in the peace process. Otherwise, we will lose the 20-year gains for freedom of expression in this country. According to the Afghan Journalist Safety Committee, 43 Afghan journalists have left the country and over 1,000 others have given up on their profession due to the increase in targeted killings in the last six months. For Azizullah Popol in Kandahar, Hikmat Surush and Jalal Mirzad in Kabul, Afghanistan, Bejan Hamdard, VOA News.